Juice sent me a bunch of rage memes, uh, gifts, rage gift memes, and uh, it was su super lit, bro, boys. Uh, anyways, <laughs> anyways, the <laughs> Dominus is wrecked. Yeah, the server's dead. <laughs> the server's dead. Goodbye. Goodbye, sweet prince. I've, I've loved you. What is up guys, Melek here, and today we are back in action playing some Ark Mod. It's going to be freaking amazing if you guys enjoy. Make sure to smash the like button, it'd really help me out. And, uh, I, I, things, I messed up my intro, that's fine. I'm completely super tired, I've been up for like 20 hours. I'm like slowly trying to rotate my sleeping schedule around, which is why uh, there's been weird times on the videos, and I apologize. Um, <laughs> I'm extremely tired. Uh, anyways, we are going to, uh, we tamed a lot of stuff last time. We are going to name those creatures. Uh, we got the super awesome air boss, the Quetzal here. Now, we got a lot of names for the Quetzal. Uh, some of the ones I liked was Atlas. Uh, there was Uranus, which um, is the Persification of the Sky. Uh, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna use Uranus just because it is it is kind of like a it's cool right but it's also its name is Uranus so yeah <laughs> anyways we also have uh, Kalos which I think is kind of a cool name and then there was a lot of other cool names but I think um, a lot of people really liked uh, this is a female though um, <laughs> this is a female all the names I picked out are males you know what I don't care uh, we're going to do Atlas let's see Atlas actually I don't know if they're all males or not uh, I'm not sure. Anyways, Atlas. Uh, we're going to do Atlas because I said it can hold, like, the weight of the world last time, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, let's go ahead and... Where's my other creatures at? We got... Oh, yeah, we got the female. It's a female. <laughs> it's. A, I got so excited last time. A lot of you guys commented on it, um, which I did put it at the beginning of the video because I, I thought it was funny in editing that, like, I did that exact voice. Anyways, for the Dota Rex, uh, the, the name that I liked the most was... Uh, crap how do you pronounce this i just looked this up it's uh it's kia kotal uh kia kotal uh zia kotal yeah there we go uh what was it Z zia kotal uh so this is like an aztec name i think something like that it means like fire serpent or weapon of destruction uh which i think is pretty cool uh it's a pretty cool name as uh, uh, kia kotal which uh, I might not be say, uh, pronouncing it exactly right. Anyways, and then uh, our last creature that we got was uh, where's it at? Where's where's our where's our beautiful spot? Oh, here it is. He's over here. She's over here. It's over here. It, it's it says it's a male, but it's a robot. So I don't really think robots have genders. Anyways, uh, I'm I'm robot at sexist or something. A ro I'm I, I don't believe in gender equality for robots which i'm sure this video will be referenced in about 200 years uh when robots are doing an uprising for equality anyways the robot uprising we all know it's going to happen eventually uh so for the broodmother we got gother uh we got charlotte we got elementium and then anas anansi anansi something like that I think we're going to do a Nancy, which is like mean spider or something. I'm not exactly sure. I've already forgotten. I'm really tired right now. So, <laughs> like, I always do research into these names and, like, how to pronounce them and what they mean and that kind of stuff. But I always end up screwing it up even though I look it up. Uh, plus, I'm extremely tired right now. Uh, so, what I want to do today is uh, we are going to fight the water boss. Uh, and then we also, I think we're going to try to fight. We have two more wardens to defeat. We have the underwater warden and then we have the argent warden. Uh, so, we need to fight one of those today. I'm not sure where either of those guys actually spawn. Uh, but we're going to look for them and then hopefully you find them. Now, the underwater one, I kind of want to fight with uh, my... Uh, Mosasaur. So we might need to actually level up the Mosasaur and kind of train it up a little bit. Uh, but I think the Mosasaur is easily us up to the task of, de of defeating the Warden. Uh, so we might do that. Okay, so we have everything we need for the Water Boss except for Black Pearls. So we're going to go ahead and grab some Black Pearls, which we uh, should have plenty of. Oh my god, these Black Pearls are crazy and uh, they weigh so much. There we go. So we can make the Water Boss. We're missing a Pooptron for uh, another Water Boss, but that's fine. And uh, I guess what we're doing for uh, waiting for that, I need to actually go find a location to summon this guy. And now we could actually uh, summon him underneath the ocean here. Actually, what we could do is use our Mosasaur to fight uh, this guy, which I'm pretty sure is a Mosasaur. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure is a Mosasaur. Also, I think we have uh, D uh, DPS or the, like the floating damage on right now. A lot of people suggested that last time, so uh, we enabled it. Uh, so we might do some DPS testing today as well, which would be pretty sweet. Okay, so we're in the water right now. I'm on the Mosasaur. 
Dinosaur. We're actually going to level this guy up quite a bit, or at least as, mu uh, as much as possible. I was thinking maybe we'll try to get about, about 5 million experience. Now, we did, I think when I tamed this guy, I did the calculations of what the max melee and HP is. Uh, so we're going to try to get up to probably maybe 5 million health and max melee damage. And maybe increase the movement speed a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, in the water, it should be pretty easy. Also, as you can see, we do have uh, the damage indicators on. So if you guys have any recommendations for things we should test out. Now, one thing I do want to test out is my Dota Rex. Uh, my, my old Dota Rex with, uh, that's pretty OP. I want to test out my Wyvern today. And then I also want to test out the Indominus Rex to see how much the OP Super Blast actually does because it one-shot a Warden. So I'm guessing it does millions of damage unless they've ner nerfed it in the meantime, which I wouldn't be surprised if they did uh, because I'm pretty sure uh, the, the Indominus Rex guy watches my videos, uh, which I'm sure he watches a bunch of other people's videos and have seen it be like super OP before, so I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to do this for a while. Oh my god, look at all those numbers. You know, so the Mosasaur, we can already tell, like, it's kind of cool that you see the numbers. The numbers are a little bit annoying, which is one reason I didn't want it on the server. Oh my god, look at the amount of fish I'm getting. And look how many times I'm killing stuff. This is crazy. Oh my god, there is so many creatures in the ocean right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. How much experience do we have so far? Already 2 million. Okay, maybe we'll go to about... 5 million or 10 million experience or something. Uh, let's see how much melee damage we can actually get so far. I think 17,000 is the max. So, or actually, let's get some movement speed up in here too. Yeah, that's that's probably good. Uh, so yes, I think 17,000. So I'm kind of curious to see how much damage it actually does. I'm guessing maybe around the 40,000 to 50,000 mark. Let's see how much do you do now. Okay, you do about 25,000. So maybe not that high. Maybe around 35,000 uh, once we reach max. Which is actually not that much when you're fighting a Warden, so it might actually take me quite a while uh, to kill the Warden. Oh my god, I am already completely filled up. This is ridiculous. You need all oh, uh, experience potions. Hell yeah. Okay, uh, this is going to make things way easier. Uh, <laughs> dude, the amount of fish this guy is getting is crazy. Okay, let's, uh, let's just get rid of all of this crap here. Do I have any more experience potions? Looks like I don't. Okay, so we have 3.5 million. Let's go ahead and uh, boost this guy's melee damage a little bit more. Uh, 15,000. Okay, yeah, this is this is getting a little ridiculous. We're almost at max already. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and kill all these guys. So 30, 30,000 it looks like. That's pretty good. 30,000 is pretty good. I mean, it's not, you know, like the greatest, but it's still pretty good. Now, you have to also remember that these are base melee stats. Uh, we have nothing that actually affects melee damage on the server. Uh, so this is what, uh, like, the creature would do uh, at max melee damage. So Okay, so I, uh, I've been leveling up slightly here. We've saved up a few experience potions. I think I'm going to save these, though. Uh, this guy has around 4 million health. Uh, he has max melee damage. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead. So, yeah, that's the, that's the health right there. Let's go ahead and use a health potion. I'm going to summon in the Mosasaur boss here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this right here. Boom. Let's summon in the Mosasaur. Oh, does it not let me? Oh, does it not let me? That's stupid. Do I have to be on land to summon it in? What? No way. No way. Okay, wait a sec. Let's uh, let's get up to the surface. Uh, looks like my guy is actually starving, though, from lack of food. I don't know why. You have plenty of food, you stupid fish. There we go. Um... We'll just go ahead and feed it a little bit of food. Um, I guess I have to summon on land. Let me let me find a suitable spot real quick. I'm, I hope it doesn't die from suffocation. That would be the worst. Uh, I'm assuming there's probably precautions in the mod to keep it from dying from suffocation, maybe? Uh, let's. Uh, can I seriously just not summon it in right here? Do I have to be standing up? No, it just doesn't let me do it at all. Can I? No. Oh, I had to, sp oh, I had to spam it. Okay, that was crazy. Uh, this is called a... Oh, no, 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 no. Passive, 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 passive. What is this? Oh, okay. I'm getting away from you. I'm getting away from you. No, get away from me. Get away from me. Don't do this. Okay. I don't know what it's called. It's called like a Mare Reese. So I'm guessing that's Water Giant. Uh, or it, And all, all these guys are consi considered like gods. So I guess this is God of the Sea. The Quest is God of the Air. And then the Titan is like God of the Earth. Um, so I should have been putting gods in my god in my titles, you know, clickbait titles. Not really clickbait, but <laughs> bring in the views. Call call everything gods. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, I am doing forty eight thousand damage per hit. Uh, this guy is doing about half the amount of damage I'm doing actually, or maybe he's actually reflecting that damage back on me. I'm not exactly sure. It looks like this guy doesn't really have a texture, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure why. Uh, but I'm gonna sit here and smash on this guy for a while until he actually eventually goes down whenever that may be 
I'm assuming it's going to take a while, considering I think these guys have millions of health. Also, this guy would be worth a lot of experience, which is the reason I think I can kill it now. I have max melee damage, right? So if I can't kill it now, then uh, this guy would have never been able to kill it. Uh, but he's going to be worth a lot of experience, so I can pump all that experience into health, and then we can go find more Maul, and that would be pretty sweet. Oh, we got him! Okay! Okay, we got him! Nice! Uh, that actually happened a lot sooner than I thought it would, so small experience potion. We'll go ahead and... Uh, Oh, that's tiny. Okay. Uh, what, what did we get? We got some crop plots, which is good. Uh, we got a kibble seed, which is freaking fantastic. And that's all we got. Dang it, I want the ultimate seed. I'm not sure if it's possible to get, but I want it. Apparently, it grows artifacts or something. That's what someone said in the comments. It grows artifacts, uh, which would be very, very OP. Uh, but we got some more magic fertilizer. And actually, this gave me a shit amount of seeds. Dude, this only gave me one seed. I, 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 it's been nerfed. It's been nerfed. He nerfed it. He nerfed it, or I got very unlucky. I, I wanna, I wanna refund a, a raptor chick. I need you to give me a refund of zero dollars. I need the, actually, no, a refund of time. I need you to build a time machine and give me my time back. Oh my god, we just one shot that guy. Okay, and oh my god, there's mosasaurs everywhere. Okay, how much experience does this give us? Of course, a lot, a very lot. Uh, let's go ahead and just go ahead and get a bunch of health. Let's actually get some movement speed as well. Let's get up to about 200%. That's probably pretty good. And then uh, we are going to maybe a little bit of weight as well. Let me get, I don't know, that that, that much weight. Up around 10k. And then we're just going to start spamming into health. Now, I think the max amount of health this guy can get is 19,000. So we're a little over halfway there. Oh, yeah, look at that. 12, or 19 million, I should say. Um, so, yeah, we're a little over halfway to 19 million. We got 12 million, so I guess we're about two-thirds of the way or whatever. Um, we're, I'm going to uh, go around. We're going to try to fight, uh, find more Maul. I don't know where more Maul is, but we're going to try to find him. Okay, guys, we're back. So, to be completely honest with you, I've searched around for a while now, and I cannot find him. Uh, so, I've actually just spawned this guy in. I really don't feel like searching for hours, and I'm very tired. So, uh, we are going to uh, just fight him right here. I, I uh, have spawned him in. Uh, and uh, I don't know how this battle is going to go. I guess we'll find out how much damage he actually does. Are we full health? Yeah, I think we're full health. I just now actually... Uh, searching around, though, I found several Champion Moses. I have no way to tame them right now, but uh, we definitely have access to Champion Moses. I probably killed, like, 15 of them. Uh, so I don't know if they increased the spawning or what, but there is so many water creatures right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and fight this guy now. Probably getting him trapped like we did last season would probably be the best bet. Uh, but I'm going to see if uh, he will actually just stick on top of me here, kind of like a normal champion or alpha or just normal Mosasaur to see if uh, we can do this. Okay, so we're doing 50,000 damage to him, and he is doing not that much damage to us. Uh, actually, not that much at all. Wait, is he only doing 4,000 or 14,000 or something? I'm not sure what he's doing, actually. No, he's doing way more than that because I can see our HP uh, dropping uh, actually not that rapidly. Okay, well, this might actually be a pretty easy battle, I think. We got plenty of health potions. He's not swimming around like crazy, which is good. That's one thing I hate about uh, fighting uh, wardens in the past is some of them would just go around like crazy. Like this guy, he would just swim around like crazy, but it doesn't seem like to be that's going to be the case anymore. Uh, but yeah, I think the big problem here is he has a massive amount of health. So killing him is probably going to take a while. Probably about five times as long as it took me to kill uh, the sea god there. Uh, let's go ahead and use this guy. Yeah, boom. We are back up to full health. Now, the question is, do we have enough potions to actually outlast his DPS? Or his damage, I guess. Or something. You guys understand what I'm talking about. But I'm going to pause it. Uh, we are going to probably come back once this guy is defeated. Or, or I'm defeated. One of the two happens. Oh, we got him! Okay! Oh, that happened much faster. I only used a couple potions there. Oh, I like that music, too. More Maul Ward in the Depths have, has been defeated. Heck yeah, okay. I got all the sweet loots, I think. Let's go ahead and check real quick. Yeah, we got the Essence of More Maul, which is good. Let me go ahead and grab that. We got, got a couple set of narcotics, a uh, elixir. We got some beautiful Trank arrows. And then we got a chest piece. Did we get anything else? 
Uh, looks like nothing super amazing besides that. Uh, but yeah, we have one last warden to defeat, which is very, very good. Also, we can stick uh, this costume on our guy right here. Look at this. We are now a mini version of the, the Warden of the Depths, uh, which is awesome. There we go. Let's go ahead and eat this guy. You are worth lots of prime meat and lots of hide. Nice. Come on, man. Yeah, there we go. You are now finally eaten. Uh, now, I don't know what the Mormal Warden's uh, like special superpower is. I know all the Wardens kind of have like a superpower. I'm not sure what his is, though. Okay, so I'm actually going to summon in this guy right here, and we're going to check him out. Let's uh, just go ahead and spam this. Is it going to let me spam it? No, it doesn't look like it's uh, going to let me actually spam it. So let's come over here to land. I'm going to see if uh, the tame version has uh, doesn't have the texture either, or maybe that was just a glitch on my part. I'm not exactly sure. Also, it looks like I've leveled up. Uh, let's go ahead and give myself some weight. I've just been mass pumping the weight here. Uh, is the server... is is the server dead? Is is the server dead? No. Am I maxed out on weight? Does it really max out on stats? Am I really maxed out on stats? Holy crap, no way. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to start pumping uh, some health in. I don't really think there's anything else that I need besides weight. Like, weight is the most important thing. I mean, I guess I can do more melee damage, but whatever. We'll do, like, 1,500 health. And then I guess I'll start pumping melee damage after that. We'll just get, like, ridiculous amounts of melee damage. By the way, uh, the Titans are worth so much experience. So uh, I, like, went around on a killing spree after last episode. Uh, and I would killed a bunch of Titans. It was crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and summon this guy in. And uh, let's get on top of him. Is he stuck now? Please, for the love of God, don't say you're stuck. Okay, guys, we're back. So we're going to do some DPS testing. And I have enough stuff to actually make uh, five Earth bosses, I think. Let's see, what are we missing? Okay, we're actually missing some funif uh, funicin here. Uh, I don't know where my funicin is. I think it's right here. Yes, we got plenty of it. Let's go ahead and grab a few of this stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and stick it in here. Yes, and then we shall make some more of this right here. There we go. So five. I think we're going to make five. We're going to try di different methods of killing them and uh, test out DPSs and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm probably going to have... Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, the water boss is stuck, and I can't, like, check its stats or anything. So I don't know what's the, what the deal is with that. I might have to refight another one and retame it. But go ahead and post some name suggestions down below. I forget, I'll figure out how to unglitch it or uh, retame a new one here pretty soon. And hopefully, when we kill all of these Titan bosses, we'll actually get the Ultima Seed, uh, which is, I think, one of the only remaining seeds that we haven't gotten so far. Uh, the Kibble Seed was one of the last ones we needed. And there might be one or two more uh, that we don't have yet that I'm not 100% sure about. But we're, we're pretty close to having all the seeds anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab uh, these guys. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of them. Uh, our Indominus is up here. We're going to check out the damage. Now, I'm assuming uh, he, the Indominus is going to do a large amount of damage. Actually, we could check out the Titan. Okay, we're going to summon that guy in. Okay, so we're on our Indominus here. Let's just go ahead and test this guy out. I'm assuming this is going to do a massive amount of damage. Oh. Oh, did they did it get nerfed? Okay, a hundred a hundred and some thousand. Did it get nerfed? Dude, it had to have gotten nerfed, right? Oh, my melee damage. Wait, wait, was this my melee damage before? I'm not sure, but I, I'm get oh I don't have the I don't have a special Indominus artifact either. But anyways, I guess uh it got nerfed because it one shot a freaking warden before, so that's crazy. Are you gonna Alright, what's what's happening? Is the server Oh, God, the server's down, isn't it? Yeah, the server's dead. <laughs> the server's dead. Goodbye. Goodbye, sweet prince. I've, I've loved you and missed you all of these years. So maybe using the Indominus Rex is not such a good idea right now. That's, that's the uh, message I'm getting. So that, it's probably not a good idea. Okay, guys, we're back. So, uh, Juice sent me a bunch of rage memes, uh, gifts, rage gift memes, and uh, it was su super lit bro boys uh anyways <laughs> anyways the, the indominus rex the indominus rex uh crashed the server uh we are going to i guess test the D dps out on some other creatures Two hundred and twenty-one thousand. oh my god four hundred thousand. almost five hundred thousand damage per hit that is nuts that is absolutely crazy the wyvern is super op uh please nerf uh nerf long time it needs to be nerfed. I, uh, there we go. And it is now dead. Uh, let's go ahead and see what, actually, let's see what sweet loots we got from this guy. 
Now, we do have a bunch of more. Also, it seems like the server didn't actually roll back at all, so that's pretty good. Uh, we got a skin seed, a hide seed, some uh, crop plots, and some more crop plots, and nothing super useful besides that. Uh, let's go ahead and summon in another one of these guys. Do I still have all this stuff? It looks like I... Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, so we got another one. Uh, I'm going to test out a different creature now. Let me go grab it. Okay, so we grabbed the Dodorex. I expect the Dodorex to do about the same amount of damage as the Wyvern, or more. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, okay, I, um... Uh, this... Why is he tamed? Why, why is this guy tamed? Just a me... Oh, I accidentally summoned in... <laughs> <laughs> I summoned in a tamed one. Okay, let's summon in a wild one there. Uh, did he? Is he? Is he in the? Is he in the world? Did he actually appear in the world? For some reason, I don't think he did. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, oh okay. Uh, you know that's fine. That's fine. I don't need this. Okay, there we go. I thought the server crashed again, but it didn't. Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and kill this guy. So two hundred thousand damage, which is sweet. And then let's check out the fire breath. Five hundred thousand damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, keep in mind, these are base uh, vanilla melee stats. I just have 250 points in them, uh, and I haven't done anything super crazy besides that. Your raptor pack minion has died. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Hopefully, he uh, decides to not be a stingy bastard and give us the, the ultimate seed, uh, which is the seed that we desire. Okay, I need you to just die, man. Just die. And there's one other creature I want to test out, but we can test out some other creatures in the future. Uh, I want to check out chicken fingers. There we go. So we got... Uh, um, I'm, what did we get? We got something. Uh, did we get anything super amazing? Let's see. Uh, we got... No, nothing super, super amazing. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, check this guy's body real quick, just to make sure. Just to make sure real quick. Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, let's check out uh, Chicken Fingers DPS. And then I guess we could actually... Uh, we could test out a lot of the other Bionic mods as well, or Bionic creatures. By the way, the other Titan, you know, actually, I didn't think about this, but we could see if they can breed. We never actually tested that. Uh, but let's get on Chicken Fingers here. And then do I have one more? Yeah, I have one more Earth, earth Boss. Or two more, I should say. Oh, there's the Tapajara. Does it work? Uh, uh, oh, it actually flies now. Look at it. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, so 6,000, uh, 2,000. 240, it has a uncommon or an uncommon passenger Tapajara saddle. This guy looks pretty cool. Yeah, look at this guy. Nice. Uh, we might play with him here in a little bit. Anyways, I am going to lay him down. There was a lot of comments about this guy, actually. A lot of people said uh, he's not in the game yet, so that's why he was bugged. But I'm pretty sure he's in the ARC dev kit, right? So why didn't they just grab the model from the ARC dev kit? Is this not the model from the ARC dev kit? Some people said it's just a uh, Pteranodon, but I'm not sure. I guess it is. I guess it's just a Pteranodon with a cell on him. Okay, so let's actually check a few more things. I'm kind of curious about Popsicle here. Okay, so let's do... Okay, so that's 5,000 damage. How much does your bite attack do? I'm not sure. This damage doesn't really make that much sense. I mean, this guy is completely maxed out, which actually, maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess he is an Ice Drake, right? He's not like a super amazing... Uh, uh, Fire Drake or whatever that's made for melee damage or I mean I guess uh, just damage in general uh, Actually, he does quite a bit of damage. That's pretty good. You know 10,000 12,000 whatever per hit is pretty good uh, Let's check out the bionic uh, Broodmother real quick as well Okay, so we got the bionic broodmother here. Come here you big bastard Okay, that was whatever okay a basic attack. Uh, what, let's shoot some balls at you string balls Oh wow, that does a lot of damage that does a lot of damage. No, passive, 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 passive. Uh, dude, that does a lot of freaking damage. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Okay. What about your other attack here? Uh, that does... I don't know. How much damage is that doing? Is that doing a lot of damage? It looks like it's doing no damage, really. Okay. Let's continue shooting the string balls at him. Go, string balls. Okay, so this guy has max melee damage now. I just kind of wanted to get up to max. I guess, I think uh, we, we had this guy at max melee damage at one point. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go and test it out. So it did... Uh, what? Uh... What? Why do you do so little damage? Why do, why do you do... Why do you do so little damage? You're only doing 40 damage. You have 225,000 melee damage, and you do a very crap amount of damage. I'm disappointed in you. I don't love you anymore. You know what? You're a, you're a bad bionic creature. You know, I thought bionic creatures were so, supposed to be super OP. You're not OP. You're just crap. 
no one, I don't like you. Maybe the server has to restart before the damage actually uh, works or takes effect, but that doesn't really make much sense, does it? Anyways, this guy sucks. Let's go ahead and try out our uh, OP boss over here. This guy, the Gaia, our ultimate Earth God Titan. Okay, we'll try. We'll go Titan versus Titan. Oh my, uh, was that, that was that 87,000 or 187, 33,000? Okay. What about Super Stomp? You gonna do the Super Stomp? No, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do the Super Stomp? You know, I mean, that's fine if you don't really feel like it, you know, if you're not in the mood. Uh, okay, I killed him. Yeah, there's something that's not really making much sense about this damage, uh, but... You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, that's all the DPS testing I'm going to do today. Uh, why is my broodmother down there? Why are you down there, man? I don't know why you're down there, but it's down there. Okay, guys, we're back. So I've been searching around for some creatures to tame, and uh, I have found a very special creature. Look at this guy. Also, there's a little stego in the water. Uh, but we have found an alpha sarco. Now, I don't know where it's little prime alpha, uh, like big father, brother is uh at the moment i don't see any nearby so i don't know what happened to it uh but we found one in the river here i don't know uh, dude sarcos normally spawn uh we are going to tame this guy and it should be pretty sweet now i don't know what level he is uh let's go ahead and land our drake here let's check out the level i hope it's pretty high uh let's see let's see he looks decently cool he's level 585 okay He's like white and red. That looks really, really cool. Hey, come here, be a big, beautiful creature. Okay, let's uh, let's run away. Oh, oh, he's down in one hit. Okay, uh, you must have a very low amount of torpor. Let's go ahead and give you a sedative narcotic. Boom. Uh, you only have twenty. Oh, dude, my arrow does over twenty thousand torpor. That's crazy. Let's go. Let's go ahead and give you that. What's your ninety-nine percent? Nice. Are you getting hit by stuff? No, you're not. You know, everything seems to be pretty good. Also, I forgot to mention that the Anunnaki Genesis actually added a... Um, I, let's go ahead and tell you to stop. They actually updated the mod, I think. I think the mod's updated. I'm pretty sure. I think that it added the Pelagornis and then the Aloe. So I've been looking for Pelagornises and Aloes. Now, I actually saw some Pelagornises uh, before they even added them in. So I guess those were vanilla Pelagornises. And then I had, didn't see any aloes, so I don't know where aloes and pelagornises and that kind of stuff likes to spawn. I think pelagornises uh, spawn on beaches or whatever. I'm not sure about aloes. Maybe like jungles or whatever? That sounds like a decent place here. Uh, let's go ahead. Can you pick it up with the drake? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool that we got a sarco. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm getting very, very, very tired. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, post some name suggestions down below for our alpha sarco. And also, uh, the water boss that we tamed earlier. Now, I don't, I think, I'm not sure if we have it still. It's probably still around. I need, I need to unstuck it or whatever. But yeah, post some name sessions for this guy and then that guy, and uh, it'll be pretty sweet. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I love your faces. And I'll see you guys in the next one.